Welcome to the Heavy Spoilers Show, I'm your host Definition, aka your friendly neighbourhood spoiler man, and we've been getting a whole host of new leaked images for the upcoming Black Widow movie that tease that everything is not as it seems. Throughout this video I'm going to be breaking down the new behind the scenes photos of General Ross and how it confirms several things about the film. Now there will be heavy spoilers here so if you aren't fully caught up with the MCU then I highly suggest that you turn off now. We'll be going over one of the biggest moments in Avengers Endgame so get a beer and go play some Fortnite instead if you don't want anything spoiled. If you're still here I just want to give a huge thank you for clicking this video, now let's get into our theory breakdown. Okay, so one of the biggest moments in Avengers Endgame centered around Black Widow's death after she sacrificed herself in order to get the Soul Stone from Boromir. Though the Avengers tried to bring the character back, it was to no avail and she still remained dead at the close of the movie, though they never gave her a funeral, which is always a big sign that she's still alive. Anyway, this left some people scratching their heads, as her upcoming film, the aptly titled Black Widow, has a release date of 2020. Now, from the trailers shown at Comic-Con and the confirmation that Tony Stark will have a cameo in the film, we know that the majority of the movie will be set right after the events of Civil War, with Widow going on the run from the government for aiding Cap and Bucky in their escape. However, there are some new behind the scenes photos that have just reached the internet that confirm the film will be more than simply just a prequel. The images that leak to the Reddit thread Marvel Studios spoilers show a much, much older and frailer General Ross and if this is due to take place immediately after Civil War and before Infinity War, then it's safe to assume that he had a pretty tough paper around during that time. However, it does look like it indeed confirms that parts of the film, at the very least, will be taking place after the events of Avengers Endgame, in which the character will have aged 5 years and look a lot older. If this is the case, then I'd say there's a lot more weight to the theory that Black Widow is actually alive after the events of Endgame, and that the world is unaware of it. Personally, I believe that the ending of his solo outing will show her waking up on Boromir after the Hulk snap brings her back. Whilst the big green giant believed that he failed, if he had have succeeded, there's no way that he would have known, as her body would still be on Voromir in 2014. This behind the scenes photo shows that we will at least get details on the current state of the MCU, with Ross potentially learning of her return. Now there's one of two ways that I think this could go, either we cut to Natasha waking up on the planet and then cut to black in the post credit scene, or we follow Cap arriving on Voromir to return the Soul Stone, and he either exchanges it for her life, or discovers that her body is no longer there. I definitely think that if this solo film does well then Marvel will want to continue with the character and it doesn't make sense for Widow to just have a standalone movie in a franchise that's full of trilogies and crossovers. Now there are also theories that this could actually be a tease of the Red Hulk in which an aging Ross, who in the comics becomes the character, ends up being experimented on as a way to prolong his life. This itself could be the post credit scene and it may tease the introduction of the Thunderbolts. This also makes a lot of sense and it could also prove to be correct with this being a big step towards the rumoured Red Hulk film that is currently floating about the internet. Personally, I'm very excited by this image and I'm glad that the film will, at least in some form or another, tell the present situation of the Marvel Universe instead of simply being a retread over what we already know. Obviously, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this image and if you agree with my theory or have a completely different one. Comment below and let me know and if you enjoyed this video then please like it and make sure you check out my breakdown of the report that the chameleon will be the villain in the upcoming Spider-Man 3 movie. I go over everything that you need to know about the story so it's definitely worth checking out if you want to know more. If you want to come chat to me about movies, TV shows, games and comic books then make sure you follow me on Twitter at DefinitionYT. It's the best way to get in touch with me and it's the perfect place to suggest new videos and content so hopefully I'll see you over there after this. Also just want to let you know that we're currently giving away a free copy of Spider-Man Far From Home on Blu-ray and all you have to do to be in with a chance of winning is to like this video, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and leave your thoughts on these images in the comment section below. The winner will be chosen at random on October the 15th and the Blu-ray will be shipped out from then to whoever gets the prize, so best of luck to everyone who takes part. This is a channel for people who are super into superheroes, so if that's the kind of thing you like, hit subscribe. Thanks again for taking the time to watch this. I've been Definition, you've been the best, and I'll see you next time. Take care, peace.